The first encounter is going to be Crypt Security. And in Crypt Security, there is no true DPS. In other words, there is no boss that you have to actually take out. But you will have to destroy six fuses. And to get to those six fuses, you're going to actually use two key components in the raid. There are three potential roles that you can have within this raid. Two of those you start to learn about in this encounter. So for this encounter, you're going to want to split up into two groups of three. One's going on the dark side and one's going to go on the light side. You can tell that, but again, one room is dark and one room is light. You can also call it black or white, right or left, but dark and light is probably the easiest way to do that. In addition, there's an underground area that you will use here in a little bit that has some doors. To start the encounter, you'll notice that there are terminals that have what looks like a red guy on it. That's your operator terminal. And to start the encounter, someone's going to go there and pick up that buff. And at that point, they're the operator. And that will come into play here in a little bit. Once you do that, both rooms are going to seal off. And you're going to have add spawn on both, again, on both the dark and the light side. You also have a vandal that shows up with a yellow icon above them that looks similar to the red one that you already have for operator. This is for the scanner. And again, if you've done this public event, there's an event around Europa, you can see a similar thing with the scanner. It's the same thing. So someone not the operator is gonna have to pick that up. The primary purpose of the scanner buff is that you will be able to see through the holes in the floor, which again, if you look at this infograph for one through five, to find out exactly the locations that the operator will interact with to progress the encounter. So the scanner, let's say on the dark side, is gonna go around and say it's at two and five. The operator is gonna know that they need to go down below and they need to use two and five. They can either shoot it or they can use a melee to do that. And that progresses the encounter. To do this, obviously you do it on one side first, whether it's dark or light. Then if you wanna pass it to the other one, you have to use the augmentation panels to put it in. So basically you would take the scanner, you'd put it in the augmentation terminal and someone on the other side would pick it up. But here's a trick. There's a servitor that shows up. Make sure you kill that servitor. While that servitor is up, you can no longer use the augmentation terminal. So make sure you do that. So then the scanner goes across on the other side. They do the same thing. And so they say dark is two and five. Light was one and four. At that point, the operator knows which ones that he needs to do. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Some people, once you get a lot of practice, they'll go ahead and send the operator down earlier. And the way the operator gets in is the operator is the only one that can open the doors once they're closed. The operator will interact with the door, again, to get down to the bottom area. One thing to keep in mind is that only one person can do that. So if you have one person and you have someone trying to go with the operator, the doors won't work. So you can only have one person go below. So the couple ways to do this, some people go ahead at the very beginning as soon as the first two are called and they go ahead and they start that process and then just switch scanner really quickly. The only reason you might not wanna do this is because once you operate the doors and head to the blow areas, you have a minute before the timer comes in and basically incinerates in the blow area. So some people are gonna just wait until they get to all four so they maximize that amount of time. Some people will just go ahead and send someone down immediately so that they can do this quickly. It's again, it depends on how comfortable you are doing the encounter and how quickly you want to get through it. Once you finish doing that twice, in other words, you've done the light and you've done the dark side and you've completed that, at that point, you transition into the next phase of the encounter. So what you're going to do at that point is that the operator, and it's very important you do it in the sequence, the operator that's below is going to send their debuff up. And someone's gonna pick that up on the top. And the primary reason is for if you don't get through the entire activity in one phase, they're gonna to need to repeat this again. So as soon as the person who has the operator, cause again, you can only pass one buff at a time. As soon as the person with the operator on the top picks it up, the person who had scanner on the top is gonna to send it back down to the bottom. And there's a reason for this. When you get to this next phase, you're gonna have a bunch of ads show up, including some exploders. So be careful about that but you're going to have the shields come off of the fuses. The problem is you don't want to know which ones to shoot. If you randomly shoot one and it's the wrong one, it'll wipe the fire team. The only way to know that is now that you pass a scanner down to the bottom, the person that's below has to look around the fuses at the bottom and call out which one you need to shoot. To shoot those, they're not that difficult now, but you might want to use something you take out really quickly. Xenophage works really well here. You can use Golden Gun. You can use anything that's powerful. But again, you can use shotguns if you want to be really close. But again, you'll want to take those down as quickly as possible. So the scanner's going to go down there. They're going to tell you, shoot. And you'll see that it's, it's light and dark side. And just say dark middle, light middle, light right, right? Something like that. That's what you're going to want to do. So you do that. And then if you're quick enough, 
you can actually get all six of them in one phase. Obviously at this point, if you don't finish them all in one phase, the same thing happens again. What you're gonna wanna do really quickly is have the operator open the doors to get that personal scanner back up to the top so that they can start the next sequence. Because again, if they're down there too long, they're gonna incinerate. But again, complete this, keep doing this over and over again, and you'll complete this encounter. So again, really fun raid uh, with the changes coming in with weapon crafting. I figure people are gonna wanna get into this again. So I wanted to give you advice from someone who's done this quite a bit of time on how to do this with the updated meta and the updated understandings people have gotten over the years versus when the raid first came out. That's a video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.